today's video, we're going to talk about weight loss and age for women. So let's get started. There are challenges in keeping your body looking a certain way as you get older. It's no joke. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and in today's video, we're going to talk about weight loss and age for women. So let's get started. So I think that if there's two things that women are sensitive about, it is their weight and their age. I wanna bring some transparency to this video just starting it off saying that I am 36 years old. I gotta tell you. There are challenges in keeping your body looking a certain way as you get older. It's no joke. The effects of age are very real, especially for women. The purpose of this video is to shed light on what things happen to your body as a woman from your 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. So let's start in the 20s when time is on your side. You may not feel like it, but it is. So if you're a fit woman in your 20s, your body fat is probably around 17 to 22% body fat. I'm not going to go into how much you weigh exactly because it doesn't really matter. It's more about body fat percentage. But at this age, you have a high metabolism. You are the strongest you are going to be. Your stamina and flexibility are at an all time high. Your skin is elastic. You have no wrinkles. Your spine does not have any crushed vertebrae, any reason why for you to slump or slouch. Your calcium levels are high. So when you are in your 20s, you are doing pretty good. Now the thing is, if you are a sedentary woman in your 20s, your body fat level is most likely around 23 to 30% body fat compared to 17 to 22. Your metabolism is something that is on your side. It's keeping you slim, even with very low activity levels. Your body may be going through ever so slight increases in body fat and a reduction in muscle mass because you're not active. Your metabolism will drop slightly due to lower activity level. However, weight loss is relatively easy for you in your 20s, especially if you are sedentary. So if you are currently overweight, out of shape, may this be your wake up call to get it together because the way that you can eat in your 20s and put such little effort and still look good is because you are young. It's because your metabolism is high and those things will not always remain the same. Nutrition tips I do recommend in your 20s. I recommend getting a really good base for strong bone health, making sure that you're getting plenty of calcium. If you are a dairy-free person, make sure you are either supplementing with it or getting it from other food sources. Make sure you are getting plenty of vitamin D as well as iron in your 20s. Now in the 30s is where in today's modern culture, more women are looking to have children in their 30s because there are studies that show that over the age of 35, it is more challenging for women to conceive without any complications. Not that it can't be done because it can. It's important to enter pregnancy at a healthy weight if you have not already had children in your 20s and if this is a goal of yours, this is probably going to be the best decade to make sure that this is done if it's something you want in life. So for a fit woman in her 30s, she's probably around 20 to 25% body fat. You will still look as good as you did in your 20s. However, your body fat may be slightly higher and your metabolic rate slightly lower. You you will be able to maintain your muscle mass though if you are consistently working out and putting in the work in the gym and eating a high protein diet. You can still look like you're in your 20s if you are in your 30s as long as you are working out and staying consistent. However, if you are a sedentary female in your 30s, your body fat will most likely be between 25 to 33% body fat creeping up there compared to in your 20s. After the age of 30, women will lose 5% muscle mass per decade. 5% muscle mass will be lost per decade. If you don't want that to happen, you're going to naturally gain weight if you eat exactly the same as you did in your 20s due to lower muscle mass, you have a lower metabolic rate, and that body fat will be stored in the stomach and the hips. You will start to feel your age in your 30s. Your basal metabolic rate is going to drop anywhere from about 150 to 200 calories. That's a lot. 
that is a big drop. That is all factors considered equal, your metabolic rate will drop. Fast weight loss is not recommended if you are in your 30s. And the reason I say this is because if you lose weight too fast in your 30s, it's actually going to make you look older. And the reason is because there is a reduction in your skin elasticity. As we age, our collagen production naturally declines. Collagen is responsible for creating the connective tissue in your skin, making it look firm and supple. So you will want to supplement with a collagen, maybe some MSM, some glucosamine chondroitin. I actually have a collagen supplement coming out from my new line that you guys can purchase for pre-sale. Link is below. While you can lose weight faster if you truly wanted to, in your 30s, it's not the time to be doing crash diets. It's not the time to be playing around with that stuff. It's going to make you look older. I don't advise any more than one pound of body fat per week in your 30s. So the name of the game in your 30s is to be practical. You may not be able to go to the gym two hours a day, every day, like you used to in your 20s. You may have a family to take care of. You may have a more demanding career, but take what you can. If you can only do sporadic 10 minute bursts of exercise throughout the day, take what you can. If you used to cook yourself food from scratch every day, but you can't anymore, and you just got a meal prep once on the weekend for the whole week, do what you can. Focus on being practical and don't think about what you used to do. Your 40s, you guys are not gonna like this, but almost every woman in her 40s will experience weight problems. I said it. If you're a fit woman, your body fat percentage is most likely between 22 and 28% body fat. You will see an overall increase in your body fat. You will see a drop in your strength, a drop in your stamina. You may experience compression in your spine, causing you to slouch a little bit more, causing your back to slouch, your stomach to protrude a little bit more. Strength training is recommended to support strong bones in your 40s to make sure that you are maintaining really good health. Now, if you are a sedentary woman in her 40s, you're probably gonna be around 28 to 34% body fat. And if you continue to eat the way you ate when you were younger and you don't get enough exercise, you will feel heavier, you will feel weaker, slower and stiffer. Your posture will be poor due to the compression of the vertebrae disc and it can make you look as much as one to one and a half inches shorter. You will experience reduced muscle mass and bone density. Your BMR is gonna be lower compared to your 30s. The thing in your 40s is to prioritize nutrition. It cannot be an afterthought. You cannot just have a bottle of wine and potato chips for dinner. You cannot just have popcorn for dinner. You need to actually have a real meal that you sit down and you plan to make sure you're getting the nutrients that you need to maintain your health. In your 50s, so this is the decade where hormonal changes due to menopause, lower estrogen, can impact insulin sensitivity, sweets and sugar intake need to be closely monitored. A fit woman in her 50s is most likely around 25 to 30% body fat. Even though you are fit, you still may experience some joint issues, things in your knees, your shoulders, your hip flexors, your elbows. You may wanna rethink your exercise routines for lower impact, less jumping, more things that are gentle on the joints like swimming and cycling. Skin elasticity is reduced, you may see wrinkles but you can still fight gravity at this age and look amazing. There are tons of celebrities that look amazing in their 50s who have aged so gracefully, and you can too. It's awesome to look good in your 20s, but it's so impressive to me when a woman looks really good who has aged gracefully in her 50s and 60s because you can tell that was the sign of a woman who really took good care of themselves, and as they say, women are like, wine they only get better with age and i believe that is very true so a sedentary woman in her 50s will most likely have body fat greater than 33 percent this increase in body fat can result in more serious health problems like high blood pressure higher cholesterol a protruding stomach spine compression a slouched posture gravity effects are real your breasts may sag your hair may be gray however compared to a sedentary female in your inner 20s, we're talking about a substantial difference in the metabolic rate of at least 200 to 250 calories if you did a BMR calculation, kept all other factors the same. So you guys, the moral of this video is to take action now. Regardless of what age you are at, there is always something you can do. It is never too late to make changes and you can look good at any age. There's no doubt about that I have trained 
women of all ages. I've had 60 year old women do bikini competitions. I've, I've seen it all. But what I want to urge you guys, especially to the younger ladies, if you have just been getting by on eating whatever you want and still kind of looking good, just know that that will catch up with you if you do not do something about it now. If you want to age gracefully, please take these tips into serious consideration. So if you guys have questions and if you guys liked this, I can do more and elaborate more on changes in women's bodies throughout the decade. So comment below any questions you may have. See you in the next one.